George and Cindy Anthony say they still see the little girl in their home. I've seen Kaylee on a couple of occasions. Is this an apparition? Mm. Oh, no, I, 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 I've seen. Michael Anos will join me and has more from this very explosive new interview with the parents of Casey Anthony. No one helped. The parents of Casey Anthony, who, of course, you recall, was acquitted of killing her young daughter, Kaylee, they have a new theory about what happened to their little granddaughter. You'll recall that Casey lived with George and Cindy Anthony when little Kaylee disappeared back in the summer of 2008. It was Cindy who actually made the 911 call to report that she hadn't seen her granddaughter for a month. I have a possible missing child. I have a three-year-old that's been missing for a month. A three-year-old? Yeah. Have you reported that? I'm trying to do that now, ma'am. The new interview will air tonight on Crime Watch Daily with Chris Hansen. Uh, Cindy Anthony offers this theory on Kaylee's death. Do you think, looking back, she was mentally ill? Yes, I think Casey is mentally ill. I really do. I think Casey's mentally ill. She's never had her seizures worked up. You think Casey had a seizure, potentially, and didn't even know what happened to Kaylee? That's a possibility. And she doesn't remember when she has seizures, unless she knows she has bit her tongue or something. Michael Anna joins me now, and you, uh, you've you seen all of this interview, you you know what the, the what's coming out of this conversation and this theory, that that there there was a seizure. Where did this theory come from? Yeah, it goes back to, um, Michaela, 2011. After the acquittal, Cindy Anthony is on with Dr. Phil, and that's where she says that about uh, the seizures. And then she goes on to say, this is according to her, that Casey Anthony's ex-fiancee, Jesse Grun, in 2007 had called 911 because Casey Anthony had a seizure. And Cindy Anthony also says when Casey Anthony was at home on bail in 2008, she suffered a seizure there as well. So that is the genesis uh, of that theory there. And again, this is uh, it's a bombshell interview. You're talking almost a decade after the death of Kaylee and the trial. Another topic hit on, and you can see that there's angst, especially from dad, George Anthony, toward his daughter, Casey. And the question is, uh, concerning any kind of lawsuit, would they be a part of that? Here's that on, again, Crime Watch Daily. Would you support a lawsuit against your daughter? I don't think it'll ever come to that. I don't think she'll sell her story. George seems to think that it might. And now there are rumors of reality shows, even a show with her and O.J. Simpson. Oh, God. What do you say to that? If it came down to that, I probably would. You know, on that topic of O.J. Simpson, you might remember that Casey Anthony, in a recent interview, talked about O.J. Simpson. It was on HLN's How It Really Happened with Hill or Harper, the Casey Anthony story. Let's play a clip of that. We'll talk about it coming out. connection to O.J. Simpson. You both were acquitted, and now you're no, trying to go... There extremely high-profile cases where there were a lot of distorted facts and things because... Right, so, so you find... You, you feel like you're in the same boat in a way. There's a parallel. There There's a lot of parallels. A lot of parallels, and I can empathize at least a little bit with his situation. Again, that was from HLN's How It Really Happened with Hill Harper, the Casey Anthony story. That's available to watch on demand. But again, uh, some eye-opening stuff here from Michaela. Absolutely, and it's important to like keep those grandparents in front of mind, right? They've lost their grandbaby, and and essentially they've in a way lost their daughter too. Um, it's uh, a lot of pain all around for sure. Hey, Mike, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it.